Right, 2.2. Annex job B shows the choices on the set menu for function at the restaurant. Customers can choose one portion, right, one protein, sorry, chicken, beef, or fish. So three options, right? And I'm just going to write that there so that you can see that. One side order, vegetables or salad, right? It's two options and one dessert. They can have ice cream or they can have marble pudding. Two options. Important that you see that. It says use the annex to B. So go and get annex to B. There's annex to B and it's kind of drawn it out for you, right? You can have chicken, beef, or fish. Then that's vegetables or salad. And then you can have ice cream or marble pudding. So these are all your different options. It says, name the type of diagram illustrated on annex to B. Well, you should know by now, right, that this is called a tree diagram. Okay, so 2.2.1, we call this a tree diagram, right? And that's a pretty easy one to do. We can then move on to the next question. 2.2.2, write down the missing outcome at 2.2.2a and the protein choice at 2.2.2b. Sure, say that many times, it's a bit of a tongue twister. Okay, so those are the two things we're going to do. Basically, we're going to fill out these two missing points. Okay, this one, remember, look here. These here indicate the pathway. So you see a C, V, I, and that's why you've written it there. C, V, M, written it there. So this one over here is going to be C, S, M. C, S, M, right? That's the pathway. Over here, it was chicken, beef, or fish, right? F, right, four, fish. And that is your answer there. Okay. So just wanting you to interpret what is over here. 2.2.3. State the number of combinations with beef as the protein. Okay. How many combinations do we have? Now, what students want to say is they want to say, oh, there's only two combinations. No, no, no. You want the combinations at the end. Look here. Right. Here's chicken and there's four combinations for chicken. For beef, four combinations for beef. For fish, four combinations for, for fish, right? Because you see that each of these, look, there's one pathway, two pathways, three pathways, four pathways. So there's four for each of them, four outcomes. So there's 12 outcomes in total. Four of them are chicken, four of them are beef, and four of them are fish. So for beef, how many outcomes are there? Well, 2.2.3, there are four outcomes. Okay, so just be careful over there. Let's do the last question for this, right? It says, determine as a percentage, right, the probability of randomly selecting a meal with mulva pudding as the dessert, okay? So probability, and I want it as a percentage, three marks, let's make sure that we do this correctly, okay? So let's go back over here, okay? And make sure that we get this. So we want mulva pudding. So we see here, basically it's in all the places where there's an M. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So six of the 12 outcomes, because we just talked through why there's 12 outcomes, six of the 12 outcomes have marble pudding, right? So what we're going to say is we're going to say, okay, we need to work out the probability. Six is how many ways we can get what we want, but there's 12 outcomes in total. How do we get a percentage? We always times it by 100. Pop this into your calculator. You can do it in your head as well, but if you're not comfortable doing that, that's okay. 12 times it by 100 and you get to 50 percent okay don't forget your little percentage sign so there's a 50 percent chance that you will get mulva pudding right or choose mulva pudding that's that question done let's move on